Welcome to today's Grow It Green. One of the things I didn't realize is there are nearly 1,500 tree farmers here in New Hampshire managing about a half million acres in the state. And we're joined now by one of them, Harmony Anderson. And Harmony, why did you decide to become a tree farmer? Um, well, I got in touch with my Stratford County Forester. And the thing about tree farming is they help you define your own goals for your land. I have just 35 acres and I decided that wildlife habitat was how I wanted to manage my land specifically. So and you started back in 1974 is that correct? And that's when I got the land yes and so it was about uh, uh, getting on to 1980 by the time I really thought I needed a plan. All right, and one of the ways to get that plan is working with a forester. Wendy Scribner is a forester with UNH Cooperative Extension. And Wendy, so what are the keys in putting together a plan? The key is really for a landowner to identify what their objectives are for their property and then work with the forester to develop a written forest management plan. Tree farming is all about deliberate, thoughtful actions and caring for your forest uh, over time sustainably. Now, now we heard in this tree farm uh, that wildlife management was important. What are some of the examples of how that's being done? Well, across New Hampshire, most of our state is forested. And so a habitat that we're lacking is this young, shrubby, uh, regenerating field types of habitats. And lots of animals key into this. So as part of her forest management plan, in addition to harvesting timber, she is maintaining this field, keeping it open, because if you don't keep mowing this, it's gonna grow yeah. right back into trees. Now, a lot of people think tree farms and they think Christmas trees. Yes, they do. <laughs> but but yes. there are other examples, right? Other types of woods and stuff. That are... Yes, um, and, and here again, habitat is important. Uh, you know, another thing that was done here, she's created, uh, planted fruiting shrubs for wildlife along a little water course there, kept these red oak trees. They're providing a lot of acorns for wildlife. So okay. uh, these are all features that she's chosen to uh, protect and enhance and with her And speaking of features, I gather you feature a tree farm a year. What's that about? We do, yes. We recognize one outstanding tree farmer of the year. This year we are recognizing the Tomapo Farm. It's over in Lebanon, New Hampshire. And that has been managed by the same family for over 200 years. We're gonna be having the field day September 30th and uh, love to have people come see, the, far, see the, the property and see what the landowners have been doing. Okay, so you can see a tree farm in action Assuming, of course, there is really action at a tree farm. Anyway, that's it for today's Road Green.